Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be talking about how to axle stall or backside 50-50 grind on a quarter pipe. It, I don't know how you guys wanna approach it as a name. So for axle stall or back 50-50 stall, the biggest thing I had when I was learning this trick, I wouldn't even get in. I would always always lean, lean in the ramp, like kind of like just carving, not even go in it. Like so I would my board would always be sideways, not on top, sideways. So I'd be coasting, you know, riding, coasting, and then just grinding. It wasn't until I started thinking about why am I afraid if the other side is basically flat? I'm not gonna fall in if I'm leaning back. So the thing that you guys wanna do whenever you do the axle saw is try to have on this side of your wheel, for us goofies, it would be our, what is it? Our left, our left side of the truck. You want to have your your trucks right there, left trucks on the coping. I don't know, unless you're crazy and you just want to have it like that. Like that's how it goes sideways on your right side. So have it on your left side and stand on top of it. The the way you want to stand on top of it is by you leaning towards the inside of the ramp. If you go, well, the outside of the ramp. I mean, the inside of the ramp. You're gonna kind of be more this way and it's not gonna feel proper. You're gonna feel like, oh, it's cheap. But it's a start. If you're gonna be doing that, start off by at least going in the inside. That way you have the motivation to go in the outer part and start grinding on the top. Remember, if you go for the outer part, you're not gonna really fall hard because the outer part is flat. If you can see on the other side, it's so it's flat. Like, if I fall that side, it's okay. It's like me falling on flat ground. But if you... It, Basically, it's not, it's just more of a mental thing. It's more of a challenge up in the mind because you, you're not sure. You haven't done it before and it seems scary. This is one of those tricks and I don't really do quarter pipes, but when I do, it's a limited amount of tricks. So just practice your rolling up, carve it a little bit, just carve it, get used to that motion. And then before you know it, just start going more and more. You'll start feeling that. And then just sit on top of it to get on there. That, that's, that's the only way I could explain this trick. I hope this helps in any type of way. And if it didn't, let me know in the comment section below. You guys could, whoever's really good at axle stall, you guys could leave a comment on how you would have gone and explain this trick. Maybe one of the people that wants to learn this trick will read your comment. So leave a comment with your guys' thoughts. Any tricks you want me to talk about or me and my friends will go over and explain it the best we can. Leave a, leave a like, helps out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Later.